Keep watching Charis TV. Over this year, we need results. Yeah. Let me get three people to tell me what they're expecting this year. I have opened a church. I registered. I came for you to receive impartation. Oh, you're telling me like you're angry. No, I'm not angry. <laughs> you say what? I'm not angry. Eh? I'm not angry. So I say it again. Because you say, oh, I've been the church. I know. It's as if I say, don't do that. <laughs> say it again when you are smiling. Uh, Papa, I opened a church in Namibia. And I registered. In so, Namibia? Yes, I came to receive impartation. Huh? I came to receive impartation and deliverance. Mm -hmm. So that's why you were telling me that, you know what? Uh, well, well, no. So you want impartation now? Amen. Huh? Oh, yes. Oh, okay, wait for it. You sit down. Daddy, I want to have a car this year. A car? A this car. Year. Yes. yes. You yes. have it. Daddy, this year I'm expecting a permanent job because I want to take off my parents. This is serious. I wish many of you can do that. <laughs> Let's get another one. Let me hear. Yes, Daddy. Me, Daddy, I, I'm believing that God can give me the grace to marry this year. I can't hear you. Uh, Daddy, I'm saying, yes. I believe that God can give me the grace to marry this year. The grace to marry this year. <laughs> I can't hear you. Daddy, I'm uh, saying, I believe that God can give me the grace to marry this year. I believe that God will give me the Are grace to marry this year. Are you talking, my brother? What are you saying? Daddy, are you talking? I'm saying I believe that God can give me a grace to marry this year. Oh, you are doing that. <laughs> Is he married this year? Brother, come here and tell me. I can't hear you because, I mean, you, you don't need the grace to marry this year. You want to marry this year. That's, that's the, uh, why the grace. It is your right for you to marry. Brother, do you want someone to marry? Yes, daddy. I, I pray find someone. You're in church? Yes. She's around? Yes, daddy, she's around. Call the person. Baba Luakam. You want to marry? <laughs> huh? You want to marry something like this? <laughs> I won't be there. <laughs> so, so you want to marry this? Yes, this is I was believing that. Huh? Yes, I was being that maybe God will give us the. I can't hear you. Yes, lady, this one I was saying, you know, I want to marry. But I know it is tough, but I believe that God will... What is tough? Daddy, we, 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 as we pray, we find that eh, we still have many things that we have to take away from our lives. I, I can't hear you. I, I, I say, uh -huh. we, when we are busy praying, uh, we find out you that... You pray together? Yes, yeah, but here yeah, in church. Uh. So I say, uh, but as we pray, we find that all of us will still need deliverance. Stand up, sis. Go to him. Is she the one? Yes, he's the one. Yes, Is he him we want to marry? Yes, daddy. Okay. <clears throat> she's the one? Yes, daddy, she's the one. All right. You are blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And
Norman Nyambi Mpambo and uh, Babala Pamela Dana before this church today and before God you are pronounced husband and wife. <laughs> I'm also here to thank the Lord so much. It happened in 2018. The D gave me a prophecy. He said to me, my brother, you must marry. I was shocked why he's telling me that I must marry because I was saving it as I So, So when the man of God said I must marry, this, this it, it gives me confusion. I don't know where to start. So after a year and a half, he came back again to me and said, Michael. So he illustrated to me, I still remember it very well. My brother, you think you can make it without your wife? Because my decision was just to live my life I will, I'll will have a wife in future let me be established first but that was not the plan of God so I started to look around that was not easy so one day I, when we were here at Adlam, I went to see daddy I just let me go to refresh myself so when I get there they I just spoke with us from there say wait for prophet Andres prophet Andres. when prophet Andres come prophet Andres he said to me my brother you are here but you don't have money in your account. What are you doing? <laughs> this is obedience that you have done. Don't go. <coughs> I want to give you money to go and buy ice cream. The prophet touched my heart. So after that, this thing comes in my mind. The time I was seated with him, now we are two of us. So I was able to tell him oh, what I was facing. I don't have a brother that I can call. Of them, they don't believe what I have said. My family doesn't believe in it. They believe in God, but, but, not to be, but not to be told this and this. So when I was with the prophet, I told him, prophet, I want to marry. But there is a problem. I don't know who to marry. To talk is not a problem. But who to talk to? Did you tell to us not to talk with everyone? So we, I have to stick on that. So prophet looked at, looked at me. Prophet He said to me, Don't worry. Don't worry. God is going to show you. He did not lay hands on me. He gave me my money. I went. In one month and a half, I saw a prophet coming to me in a, in a dream. He said, my brother, how far have you got but the but issue of your wife? I pointed to him my wife. But I said, prophet, how comes you are still delivering this woman? He smiled at me. From there, on the 1st of January this year, I want to hear the mind of God. So I said to my wife, myself, I don't like things of going to the bank there. Our issue must be resolved at the altar. If it's yes, it's yes. If you know, it's no. I don't know what pushed me that day. I see myself also at the front. 
Then the men of God asked me, what do you want? Because, because many people were coming, they were asking for cars and houses. I said, daddy, daddy, I want to marry, can you God give me the grace to marry? Say, ah, oh, don't ask for the grace. Say, I want to marry. I said, daddy, yes, I want to marry. I'm telling you the prayer that the men of God give us. I'm telling you the prayer that it opened everything. <laughs> now from January to July, to July, to July the Lobola we paid. Lobola ya now from July to October, July October. Now we have to marry. Ah, a wedding must come. Mama. The wedding must happen. But where is the man? I look my pay slip. I look the pay slip of my wife. Everything is contrary. We don't know where to start. But now I remind my I, I now start to remind myself God told me don't talk to people. There is no single person I call here in church. That we need help. The day my wife went to see mommy. With a card. card. Mama took the card. Mwena ucheri card. How comes Mama can take the card? I know Mama is a prophetess. There is one, two, three. It's no, there is no money. There is nothing. One, two, three. I look at myself. I say, but God of my father knows what to do. I start to walk with boldness. I see people coming to me. People that I don't know. They gave me money. Amen. When these people gave me money, some of them they want me to do jobs for them. I will assign people to go and do the work. And the job was done right until the final day. Now here I am today. Thanking the Lord so much. I see the love in this church. There, there are people God touched in this <laughs> church who go far helping us in everything. They stood with us to the last hour. I never knew that mama is like that. I never be close with mama. But this woman is so amazing. She would just call my wife or Ask him, hey, Pastor Lucy, call them. Tell them one, two, three. Ah, finally, we'll do what Mama is saying. I want to thank God so much. You know, what I saw Mama, Pastor Lucy doing, it humbles me so much. I saw her running up and down, telling me, do this year. Do this year. Ah. Things are like this. Oh, God is great. Yes. A person like me to marry is the grace of God. Mama and daddy, thank you so Mama much. My life is completely changed. There is happiness in our house. I thank God so much. Thank you. Hallelujah.